How to update an old island with a marble design that has a splash of gold. Hey guys, Cedar Essentials here. These are examples of typical countertop designs that you find in homes. And I have to say that the trend is changing. The colors and the patterns are getting bolder, they're getting louder, they're getting colorful. The colors these days are so vivid and I'm really loving the fact that some even have lighting inside them. After looking at all those beautiful designs, I had an idea to use a splash of gold that's going to be on the countertop. So what I did was to go online and I found this. It's a wall art actually and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. It has a bursting gold design that I love so much and it comes in two. It's a wallpaper but I'm going to be using it on the countertop. This is where I'm going to be working on. And so before I start anything, I'm going to make sure that I have it cleaned properly. With the lights on, it kind of looks okay, but I am not a fan of black islands in the kitchen. That's just me. So because of that, I'm going to have it covered with something much more bright and more interesting. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I use the heat gun at the edges to make it lie better. The cost of having something like this in the kitchen for an island would be like tens and thousands of dollars. But with this route, it is less expensive and easy to do as well. This wallpaper, unlike the others, is kind of pricey. The texture felt a little bit different from the regular contact paper that you can use in kitchens. So I soaked a part of it overnight just to see if it would hold up with water. And it did. That got me really happy. But then I remembered that if it's going to be for the kitchen, close to the sink, where definitely you will have oil spills or heat from food and scratches and discoloration. So many things come to mind if you want to take this as a functional kitchen. So I decided to just have the top sealed. I covered the bottom of the island and protected the floor as well. And when I was doing this, I made sure that I made the attachment right at the bottom of the lip of the countertop. I also covered the sink. I'll be covering the top with this and I got this from Lowe's but I have a link for the exact same thing down in the description box below. You can also get this from Home Depot or even Walmart. 
For the mixing, you have to follow the instructions carefully for a better result. When I was done with the mixing, I poured it and started spreading it out. As you're pouring this, you have to be really fast. Somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes should be good because anything after that is going to get really hard and you don't want that. Now I had air bubbles in my work, so I used a heat gun to remove them. And the link for the heat gun that I'm using is down in the description box below. I left this for a while and as it was getting thicker, I made sure to remove the drips at the bottom carefully because I didn't really want, you know, drips to get really hard as it's getting stronger. I added another coat after four hours. Now you can see the reflection that's on the countertop compared to how it was before. I love a splash of gold in this design and also the glass looking surface. Because this is not your typical marble design, anything like this would cost anything from about ten dollars to $30,000, but I accomplished this design with $150. Other colors can be used for this pattern, but I chose this one because I liked it and I hope you all enjoyed this DIY tutorial. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.